We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning with a treat. Raise a glass. Clink is here at the Liberty Hotel in Boston. Executive Chef da Daniel joins us with a delicious autumnal recipe. Welcome. Good morning. How, Thank you. How are things at the hotel? Very busy getting ready for the season, uh, the holidays coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a great spot if, if people are looking to get away, but maybe not too far, just a short drive up to Boston. They can really feel like um, they're in a, a beautiful location and enjoy that, that luxury of staying at a hotel like yours. Yes, very close to Rhode Island. Perfect. Well, <laughs> Clink is the restaurant within the hotel, and you have brought a recipe with you that already smells delicious. Take us through some of the ingredients. Sure. We're doing an autumn root vegetable bisque, uh, mm -hmm. perfect for Thanksgiving, perfect for the holidays in this time of year. Um, using blue hubbard squash, parsnips, uh, local rutabaga, macumber turnips, butternut squash, uh, garlic, onions, uh, and then garnishing with some uh, beautiful local goat's cheese, toasted mm -hmm. pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seed oil, uh, and a, a nice little crunch with some hemp seeds, which is a beautiful protein add on there. This is a vegetarian bisque, um, which actually tastes like it has a, a meat component to it, mm -hmm. but great for everyone. Perfect. Um, you have the herbs wrapped up there. That's, sure. that's a neat trick. Tell us about that. Sure. This is um, a classical French style called the bouquet garni. And then what it does is it imparts all the flavors of the herb oils into the soup uh, without um, dirtying it up with the stems and with the herbs. And it's easy to pull out when you're done. And, and when you squeeze it at the end of making the soup, you, you see oils come out of the herbs, which is beautiful and brings the essence into the soup. Perfect. I, we've seen that sometimes with like a cheesecloth. This is yes. just another way to do that, right? Wrap them up prior to, and then yes. like you said, it'll look clean and nice, but still have all those great flavors. Yes, we want all that beautiful flavor. You mentioned um, that, that squash in the ingredients, and you have it in full form over there. You can't miss it. That is giant. This is a New England favorite. This is a Blue Hubbard squash, which is the season is right now, uh, and it's a beautiful inside. Almost tastes like a sweet potato. Okay. Uh, bright orange, uh, and then we have some local butternut squash, celery root, which is a beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, not really everyone's aware of celery root and the beautiful flavor it imparts. Uh, sugar pumpkins, parsnips, leeks, uh, and then acorn squash, which we'll be using to make a bowl for our soup today. This is going to uh, really wow your your crowd there, your family, your friends, whoever is gathering, not only with the taste, but the presentation yes. as well, like you alluded to. Yep. All right, well, hang tight. We're going to get our best going in just a bit. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen on this fine Thursday morning, I wish you could smell what's going on in here, and I'm not talking about my aftershave. <laughs> Executive Chef Daniel Kenny from Clink at the Liberty Hotel in Boston joins us. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you here. I was watching you earlier with Michaela today. If you're, first of all, if you're just tuning in, where have you been? We could have used you earlier in the hour, but you're here now, and I'll remind you, or I'll tell you for the first time, of what this fine gentleman is making, the Autumn Roots Bisque. What do we need to know, my friend? It's, uh, it's a beauty of the season, uh, and it's, um, this dish is a vegetarian dish created um, uh, with no meat, but it has a real uh, meaty component flavor to it using some local goat's cheese uh, and some hemp seeds for some protein in there. Uh, it's great for Thanksgiving. It's great for the fall um, and utilizing the bounty of New England in the, in the fall. Yeah, and there's nothing uh, lovelier than New England during this season, and a dish that really encapsulates culinarily speaking, if you will, that is really what it's all about. People love experiencing this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Clink uh, at the Liberty Hotel. What do we need to know? I know it's it's new, but beyond that, what should we know? Sure. Uh, we're Clink restaurants located in the Liberty Hotel in Beacon Hill. Uh, it's the old Charles Street Jail, uh, and it is an absolute beautiful property. Uh, currently, we just put up our hanging Christmas trees. Uh, we have very large Christmas trees. It's a seasonal uh, uh, specialty been going on for years there at the hotel. And come by, hang out in the lobby. The lobby turns into a, uh, a place to be seen, uh, uh, an afternoon place for tea, or an evening place for cocktails. Uh, the food is incredible. We're seeing and some photos right yeah. now, uh, Daniel, and it really is stunning, isn't it? Excellent, excellent. How proud are you just to be a part of that? I mean, when something can, that is steeped in such history like that can be transformed and reimagined in that way, and you're a part of it right at the epicenter of it all, it must be so special for you. It is. The first day that I was interviewing there and I walked up the lobby and saw uh, the open lobby, uh, the catwalks, um, I, I wanted the position then, and that was many years ago, and I'm still there, and it's, it's a pleasure every day to go there. And being that it is a former prison, you don't have to go in just during visitation hours. No. No. <laughs> I, I do go to jail every day, but it, but it is work. <laughs> well, I, I know, you know, that's very funny, but it's fun to have some fun with it because you guys really are taking things to the next level there. Mm -hmm. So, Clink is located within that. 
in the in the property in the lobby level. Uh, we also have a lobby bar and we have a catwalk service. Uh, numerous food and beverage options uh, in the property, uh, as well as uh, outside options. We're doing curling soon outside. We can have a, a warm cider and a snack outside curling in the winter. Uh, all sorts of events going on. Save me a seat now, will you? Come on, <laughs> get me on the list, buddy. But let's get back to the Autumn Roots Bisque. Uh, if someone wanted to try this uh, in their own kitchen at home, sure. I would imagine they don't need to be intimidated. You're really going to work the flavors together, right? Yes, it, it, it's a simple dish. It's a one-pot dish. Um, the, the tricks are just really cooking at the beginning all the different roots, the squashes, the leeks, um, all the garniture, kind of caramelizing. If you're seeing, right. you, you're getting, you're building up that fond, that very important word, the caramelization on the bottom of the pan. Uh, typically, you might deglaze this in, you know, with wine or with uh, stock. We're simply deglazing it with water. Uh, and what we're going to do is release all those flavors, get them all going together. Ooh, it's like um, a cauldron. And then uh, the herbs, uh, the herbs are created in a bouquet garni, which I've tied up with some string, some butcher's twine. And what that's going to do is impart essence of the herbs into the soup while it's cooking without the sticks and without the stems. Uh, now it's just basically simmer and puree in your blender or with a stick blender or a roboku, something at home. It's a very, very simple um, process. The bowl that we use for this dish is actually edible. So it's an acorn squash, uh, and we use this uh, for the bowl, um, and it's, it's a great dish. We season this up with some uh, some fall spices, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some clove, butter, olive oil, uh, cut the top off, scoop it out, roast it in the oven, and then there's your bowl. It's an edible. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And when you can do that, it kind of really just adds to the overall experience. And I'm always fascinated by the chefs who come in here. What made you want to get into the culinary arts? Um, well, uh, I went to school here in, in Rhode Island in, in Johnson and Wales uh, a few years ago. Uh, but before that, um, believe it or not, it was Julia Child. Wow, how about that? <laughs> on PBS, uh, on uh, on television as a child. Instead of watching Sesame Street, I, I kind of went to the Julia Child show, uh, and that was the beginning. I, of I, I never saw a big bird whip up a bully base, so I think you had the right inspiration right there. Well, this is the man, executive chef Daniel Kenny from Clink Restaurant at the Liberty Hotel in Boston. A great Great pleasure to have you here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And you guys can, of course, learn more all about this beautiful location, and you can get the recipe for the Autumn Roots Bisque. I can't wait to try it after the show. Mm -hmm. There's enough here for just me, I think. You can get all that information at roadshow.com.